guys, welcome to this week's video. Uh, firstly guys, thanks ever so much for watching, liking, subscribing to our channel. If you haven't, please do so. So on this video, um, I will be making, I'll be showing you how to make Kima fried rice, just like the Indian restaurants. Um, as you know, I've marinated the minced lamb on my previous video. So what I'm doing is using that to show you how to make Kima rice. So straightforward guys, Get the heat on the pan. Right, is that heat up? Hope you guys are well. Please give us a comment. Let us know what you guys have been up to, what you're thinking of our recipes, which ones you like. Uh, for this one, guys, just to make you aware, you would need some pillow rice. So this is my Indian restaurant style pillow rice. Uh, we're going to use some onions and so forth. I'll go through them as we go. So kima fried rice. It's, um, it's one of my it's one of my favorites actually fried rice. Uh, I like mushroom rice as well, but the kima rice I do like that too. So let's crack on with this one. Let's get some ghee in there. So about a tablespoon, sorry, a teaspoon. If you want to use regular oil, if you haven't got ghee, you can do. If you want to use a combination of it, you can do as well. Just so uh, add a tiny bit more if you want to. First thing we're going to do, do guys is add some curry and um, some uh, garlic cloves. I've got two garlic clo cloves in there because I do like a bit of garlic. If you don't want to use garlic, you don't have to, or if you want to use one, you can do. So as soon as that's gone golden brown, you can smell the aroma coming from the garlic. We're going to add a bit of onion. Eat. So this is going to be kima fried rice the Indian restaurants. Really easy and quick to make guys. If you've got the minced lamb marinated it's really easy. Right there we go. So it's gone. I can smell the aroma. It's golden brown. Right, let's just show you. So this is like one, two, about two and a half in there. Again you could have used more you can do if you want to use less onion you can do one of the best thing about cooking BRI curries at home or recipes it's you get to um, alter it to your taste so a pinch of salt because our kima has already got the marination in there. so I'm just going to add a handful of kima What I'm going to do now is get this, break it down. So I can add a pinch of salt, um, methane, fenugreek leaf as well, guys. Right, so just break the kima down. I'm just going to put it on low heat while the skin is cooked. Right, let's see. I'm going to add again. So this is my BRI mixed curry powder. So again, just to give it a bit more flavour, going to use just under half a teaspoon of my mixed powder. And again, just press it down, the kima, that will just help it cook quicker. Kima is cooked. Normally we do this on high heat. So I'm trying to talk and do that. And again, look at this rice, guys. Can you see it? There, look at that. Perfect. Give it a quick. Right, cool. So my kima's ready. some rice in there so again depending on what you want how much so I'm going to do a standard one portion 
restaurant size. There we go. So high heat and now just combine all of this together. Coriander, and that's Kima rice done, guys. As we sort of said before, the in the restaurant style is the preparation that takes all of the, most of the time, and that when it comes to cooking, is actually straightforward. I'm just trying to zoom in, it's not letting me zoom in. So let's take up the heat now. Wait for this light. Catching the sound of it, because that's what it makes a nice, nice and crispy. A bit, well, give it a bit of a crisp to it as well. There we go, done. Well, here it is, guys. It's got the camera off the stand. He wasn't letting me zoom in. Just zoomed in for it, check it out. Keep my rice for you guys. Guys, don't forget this is the recipe I've given you. Don't forget to like, subscribe to our channel, share, let us know what you think, comment below. And I look forward to seeing you, you guys on the next video. Take care, bye bye for now. Hey guys, it's Babel here from the Bengali Cook. Thanks ever so much for watching our videos and listen up. Please like and subscribe to our channels using the link below. And of course, remember to set those notifications.